again everybody welcome back to a brand new transfer rumors video today well it's not a transfer rumor actually Wolves have confirmed another signing today and it is Enzo Loyadice uh, the French midfielder from Dijon um, and yes there has been a few people that have already made the Dijon mustard puns uh, but today we are going to be talking about the player what's happened is a move that moved quite quickly in terms of um, the public knowing about it really uh, it was last Monday I believe uh, that it first got pushed so what was the date of last Monday uh, about the 20th uh, it was first I think it was Foot Mercato first published it uh, from France uh, basically saying that Wolves were interested in Loya uh, in a loan deal and with an option to buy. However, he was going to be for the under-23s. A lot of people were surprised at this. Wolves have done this before, though, where they've loaned a player actually to play in the under-23s. It's not unheard of for Wolves, but it is quite strange because you normally use a loan space on someone that is going to jump straight into the first team. Um, so they have loaned uh, Enzo, he's a central midfielder from Dijon and it took about a week or so uh, before it became pretty public knowledge that the deal was going to go through and he had his medical over the last day or so and confirmed today. By the way, Talking Walls, the first Walls page to post that news about uh, Lawyer DJ last week. But yeah, he's come in, central midfielder, um, as we do these days, we watch YouTube videos of him, uh, sort of a deep line playmaker type player, likes to recycle the ball, pings the balls out and Straight away, the similarities you could see uh, players like your Ruben Neves type player, really. And I think as a youngster, plenty of people have sort of watched this guy. He's been in the French under-20 internationals. Uh, there's plenty of people possibly calling him for him to be a future France captain from what I've seen uh, from the public talking about this guy as well. But he just looks all round a good player and looks like all round a perfect Wolves fit, a perfect Nuno type player really. Um, so it's no surprise that we've got this guy in. So as I say, he is uh, predominantly going to be used in the under 23s team, but I think a lot of people are hoping and probably hedging their bets at expecting this guy to possibly feature in the squad before the end of the season as well. I think for any young central midfielder at the moment, it is quite difficult because um, especially a player of uh, Loya DJ's age, is he going to come in straight away and dislodge Matidio and Neves out of the team? Highly unlikely. So I think it's a pretty good deal for Wolves to loan this guy, get him in the under-23s, see what he could do, see what quality he brings, and see what style he brings to the game. Uh, because this guy has played pretty regularly in Ligue 1 in France. He's played, especially last season, he had a huge amount of games for Dijon at a top level. Uh, you know, France is considered one of the top leagues in the world. Premier League, in my opinion, is a bit of a step up, so I think that is something that needs to be considered. Um, but for us to be able to loan this guy with a pretty cheap option to buy, I don't think it's an expensive deal for Wolves. It could be a, a huge, huge bargain as well. Um, in terms of what people are saying about this guy, well, as I say, you look at the, the Dijon tweet announcing this and every single one was negative towards the club for actually letting this guy go. So it sort of shows straight away what sort of talent this guy has, the fact that all of your fans are going ballistic, really, uh, about letting a player go. Uh, a couple of people, uh, we've got uh, the first one. This is off Tangai Le Sevilla. I believe he's a French journalist. Uh, and this is what he said. He said Enzo is a young prospect who had a very good debut with his first professional club, Dijon. Last year was very surprising. He was a regular in the team with high-level performances at the beginning of the season. The second part of the season was more difficult with a new coach who didn't trust him and preferred to use other players in the midfield. No explanation was given for that. And this season, even if the coach has changed, it was it was similar. A departure is the solution. Wolves is quite a surprise because I don't know if he could play in the Premier League, but with the experience, it's very good. So that was the first one. That was from a journalist, quite a professional point of view. Another one as well that I'd spoken to, this, was, this guy was an American fan. Um, he's, uh, well, a French uh, football fan who uh, lives in America as well. He had pretty positive things to say about him as well. He said, watching him at Dijon and the youth of the national team, this kid will be an absolute beast within two years. Technically and mentally strong, superb vision, he'll be great. So, plenty of people rating this guy pretty highly. Of course, you can see the clips of him and, and so on. But Wolves did confirm the signing of Enzo today. It'll be in interesting to see where he places in the squad. Is he going to be a player maybe like Campana, who people are expecting to sort of sit in the middle of the two teams? Or is he going to get that opportunity at Wolves? 
Um, so a huge opportunity, good signing from Wolves, looking to delve into the transfer market a little bit more. Could we get another couple of signings before the end of the window? Hopefully, it looks like Daniel Pedence is close to being announced as well. But let me know your thoughts on this guy in the comment section down below if you're a French, French football fan as well. And if you're a Wolves football fan, yes, it's another 23 signing. But uh, it looks like a promising one for Wolves and it looks like more first team signings are on the way. Be sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new guys. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.